because the pants are sliding. There we go. Sliding. Yep. Yeah. Good, right there. Perfect. Yeah. What is going on crack addicts? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be posting a wide variety of chiropractic adjustments from some of your favorite chiropractors, some of the most loved ones and most well-known on YouTube. So that's what you're gonna be seeing in today's video with some new additions also. All of their links will be in the description. That's where you can check them out directly. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button to the channel and make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss any content from the channel. Now let's get into it and I'll see you on the next one. Next up, we have Dr. Scott Mitchell and Dr. Matt Delgado. Hey, it's Dr. Matt from Live Spring Chiropractic. We're here today with Melanie. Melanie is a pure bar instructor here in Austin, and I'm gonna have you kind of re-explain what you're just telling me about your knee. So we, um, we've been walking outside a lot and going up and down hills in our neighborhood, and I've noticed just twinging in my knees. And... I'm going to start down here, so as we look at leg length, it just, again, one of the things that we look at is an indicator for pelvis alignment. And anything with knees also, pelvis has probably the most significant impact on With pelvis here, looking at Melanie's leg length, there's definitely a difference in that. Right one's showing up short. She's shaking her head yeah, yes. I can feel it. She can feel that. Sorry. Yeah, so she's really smart, so that's moved back in space actually and is that tender there also yeah um, we've been working with for a while and we'll have some things here and there that come up and since she was feeling some stuff in the knee today i asked her if we'd be okay if we film it to show so i'm gonna roll you toward me and a little bit there and i'm actually gonna push you back just a little bit because the pants are sliding there we go sliding. yeah yep. good right there Perfect. And then face down one more time for me. Let me drop the head okay. rest in there. And then when we come here, it should feel different. Yeah, it feels different. What was the difference to you? Is the biggest thing you noticed there? It, the, right there, it felt even. Like when you press down, it felt like you evenly hit bone. Yeah, so she was right. And she's so aware, too, of kind of what's going on. She's been uh, working. Uh, we've been working together for quite some time. But that right hip had moved back in space like that. And then coming through the mid-back now, uh -huh. right there between the shoulders. Yep. Big breath in for me, please. And let it all go. Good. That's a big one. Yeah, good <laughs> movement. That's what we want. A little bit here. There it is. Stuck. Not anymore. Stubborn. Ah. There we go, perfect. So we're gonna check the knees now. And was there, which which is the one that you had the surgery on? The left. The left, okay. Yeah. So, as we come here, first thing I'm feeling for right here in the joint is just the positioning of these two bones, the femur and the tibia. It's tender on the inside too. Yeah. And behind, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and behind the knee. So I'm feeling a muscle behind the knee, it's called the popliteus. The popliteus unlocks the knee. So I'm, I'm gonna just feel for motion here as I rotate the knee up and down. I'm just feeling under my fingers for motion right there. Right there, again, yeah. yeah. yeah it's just, it's not moving, it's not moving how it should. As I come to this other side, I'm gonna feel same thing for motion. This is just a good, yeah, so this one's yeah, so right yeah, so much better. And it glides through all the way. And I, what I mean by that is under my finger here on the inside part, it's moving. As I move the leg, yeah. these should be moving through the, have you dig your heel into the table. I'm gonna to try to push the toes out, don't let me. This is testing that popliteus here. Okay, and then let's check this other side for reference. Same thing, I'm gonna push out, don't let me. So that one's, I'm pushing more and I can't budge it at all. This one, the quality of that hold is not as much. It's yeah. like a sporadic off and on, and then it'll bend and I can just move it's it. Like so shaking a little bit. And do you notice that too? Yeah, yeah okay. Forward, toward me. And I'm just gonna feel for joint glide there. 
before we move anything. Yeah, so there's some rotation on it also. It's rotated out yep. and it's moved back. So we need to bring it toward us here. And then a little pull toward me. A little more like that. Gotta light your foot off the table. There we go. Just a small one there. So already. It's behind way better. Me. Yeah. We'll test. So on this inside part, I wouldn't expect it to be as strong, but let's test that outside part first. So I'm gonna have you point your toes out. There we go. And the whole foot, I mean like, soften for me a little bit. Right there, hold okay. right there. Okay. I'm gonna try to push your whole leg down toward the floor. Don't okay. let me, your foot. Okay, good. Now let's turn the toes in. I'm gonna push your whole leg down toward the floor. Don't let me. Not as strong. Yeah, it feels weaker. Yeah, and that's the inside part. There, and it sounds loud. How does that feel? It doesn't, it feels like a normal, just slight movement, slight pressure. And even when I was doing it with my hands, yeah, no it was name. very light. Yeah. It was a very, it's a small movement. Right there, we're gonna make an adjustment. Yeah. Tender. There we go. So moved well. It's gliding back. That's the cuboid. Now on the top here, checking the whole ankle mortis, talus. Good. And then the calcaneus or the heel bone. There we go. And right there. The they almost made me have surgery on that part of my foot. Really? What'd they yeah. say? They told me, oh shoot, what did they call it? They called it like um, and something or an and Oh shoot, I don't remember what it was, but they were gonna put a plate on the top of my foot because I was having so much pain mm. in that arch right through the top of where you were pressing. <laughs> and then let's check this foot also. And then what we'll do this last one on the knee we're actually gonna do from that other direction. No more on, there we go. Can that be from going up on my toes and like being in heels and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. Also? To bring that up where it should be. There. And then commonly too, it'll be not just in that joint, but one down from at the base of that first metatarsal, if you call it. That one's fine, but this one's not. Right there. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was just quick to say yeah on that one. You let the knee fall, and then on this one, uh, it'll drop. There it is. This. We'll pull. There. We'll see how it feels how as you feel. move on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like blood is rushing to it, which is. Which is a good thing. It's a great <laughs> feeling. It's a great because it's like fresh blood going to that area. Yeah. Uh, Up next, we have Dr. Doug Willen. So that's C3. Do you feel that nasty mm -hmm. spot? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It didn't make a click. So re, re put your face this way, just okay. your face. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's gonna be looser yet. Mm -hmm. So back to center. Mm -hmm. I gotta get that muscle with my thumb. Okay. So this might hurt a little bit, okay? okay. That's my, there it is. Isn't that the spot? Yeah. Ah. All right. I've got a super tight neck. I want to pop and release it, mm -hmm. um, but I have to change the angle. I was going to do a face down adjustment, which is prone. Now I, ha I have them supine. I'm going to go back to C3 on the same side. It's right here. Laterally flex. Oh! Whoa! Got it. Though. Wow! Wow! <laughs> And that's going to help with rotation quite a bit. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> that is euphoria. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I think you uh, needed that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so now scoot down towards me. Sure. Okay. Good. And if that's the sound of the table, okay. my hand goes underneath. <clears throat> Do you feel those pop? Yeah. <clears throat> You're wow. close. Wow. 
So the last one was at the level where the nerves go to the kidneys. A little treatment, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to see. I already got his back when he was face up, but let's mm -hmm. do a little more. There's another spot here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now lift this leg as high as you can. So, but take the whole thigh up together. So the whole thing up and back down, and then the whole thing up and back down. Was there one that felt tighter to lift? This one. The, the right, right one? Yeah, the right one. Okay, so the right one's a little tighter. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're almost oh. there. Yeah. And then lean back, because that was the worst. Remember, going back was worse. Oh. How does it feel now? Feels amazing. A little looser, right? Yeah. Okay. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more.